it's Martin Luther King's birthday, and Sam works with the I Have a Dream Los Angeles Foundation that is inspired by the vision of Dr. King for everybody who's at home celebrating today. That organization adopts an entire first grade class in a low income area where the dropout rate would normally be 65, 70%. 65, 70%. Mm -hmm. From first grade to high school graduation, then educators and mentors tutor each child for free. And then after graduation, money for college or vocational school is guaranteed. A few days ago, Sam spoke to some of these young dreamers. Watch this. I have a dream of going to college and achieving my goal as an architect. I have a dream to become a marine biologist. I have a dream of becoming a realtor. I have a dream to be a doctor. Any kid of any race can become whatever they put their mind to. I came from a similar place that they came from. And uh, it's possible to, you know, be whatever you want to be. You just got to apply yourself and get there and do it. Sam speaks from experience. The odds were stacked against him as a child. There were a lot of different things going on in my neighborhood. There were gambling houses. There were, I think, two houses of prostitution. There were a lot of people in my neighborhood on welfare. Thanks to his family, Sam was taught there was only one way out. Everything revolved around my education. Going to school was my job and everything depended on the kind of grades that I brought home. Sam went on to graduate from the prestigious Morehouse College. If I have a dream was not there for me, I'd probably be pregnant like some of my friends and be doing drugs. They kept me out of drugs, alcohol, and gangs. Sam has an important message for these dreamers. People have this cliche about luck being the perfect meeting of preparation and opportunity. And what you're doing right now is preparing yourself to run into that opportunity and being ready when that opportunity comes. So apply yourselves and work very hard and have fun while you're doing it. The one thing I hope I get across to these young people today is that they are the masters of their fate. They are in charge of how far they go and how swiftly they get there. Wow. Yeah, I just think that's, I think that's so cool because the, for so many people I know who are even off watching today, Martin Luther King represents to them, you know, Martin Luther King has become sort of marketed as that speech, but you and I know neither of us would be sitting here today right. had he not had a dream. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Samuel Jackson, $6 billion man.